For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're going to do uh, these two problems at the same time which says determine the magnitude of F3 so that the resultant uh, force of the three forces acts along the positive y axis uh, and has a strength of 600 so it's going to be somewhere over there f of r equal to 600 pounds along the y axis all right so let's break it down if f of r is equal to 0i plus 3 600j plus 0k f of 1 is equal to negative 180i plus 0j plus 0k now f of 2 is what we're going to try to find right now so we know that f of 2 has a projection in the x and y which is this projection right here we're going to try to find and to find that we do f of 2 cosine of this angle which is 30 f of 2 cosine of 30 and that is equal to 259 now now that we have this projection we can find the x component and the y component this is the x component right here which is the same as this so to find the x component which is f of 2 of x we do the projection on the x and y plane times the sine of 40 degrees which is equal to 167 to find the y we do the same projection times cosine of 40 degrees <clears throat> which is equal to 199 and is this vector right here and the C is this vector going down right here so we can find it by doing f of 2 sine of 30 degrees and it's going to be a negative because it's going down on the c axis which is going up so it's negative 150 now that we got f of 2 let's write it down here 67 um, i plus i plus 199j minus 150k and we got f of 3 which is what we're trying to find which is let's call it xi plus yj plus ck so you know that the sum of these three has to equal f of r so now we can build our equations basically we're going to add the x's together has to equal this x add the y's together has to equal this y and add the c together has to equal this c so our first equation would be 0 is equal to negative 180 plus 167 plus x therefore x is equal to 13 second equation 600 is equal to 0 plus 199 plus y which means that y is equal to 401 And the last equation, let me write it right here, is 0 is equal to 0 minus 150 plus c. z is equal to 150. And that's f3. 
F3 is equal to 39 plus 401k plus 150, sorry that's k, and this is j. But they're asking us for the direction angles and the magnitude. The magnitude is easy to find, square root of x squared plus y squared plus c squared. Magnitude comes out to be 428.3. And the direction angles, remember this is the one for the x, this is for the y, and this is for the c. You have to do the cosine inverse of the x over f of 3, cosine inverse of y over f of 3, and cosine inverse of c over f of 3. These three angles come out to be 88.26 degrees. 20.57 degrees and 69.5 degrees and these are the final answer for the first one for the second one almost the whole procedure is the same thing except that the f of r this 600 becomes a zero because all the force uh, cancel out. So when you're going to build these equations, let me get this space right here. This is the second one. So when you're building these equations, this equation is going to change. So the first equation is the exact same thing, plus 167 plus x. Okay, let me write this right here. So f of r is equal to 0i plus 0j plus zero k. So the first equation comes out to be this, x is equal to 13 still. The second equation is equal to zero instead of 600, zero plus 199 plus y, which makes y to be equal to negative 199. And the last equation remains the same, 150 plus c, so C comes out to be 150. So F of 3 in this case will be 39 minus 199J plus 150K. And the direction angles which you calculate with these exact same formulas come out to be 87, 142.9 and 53.04 but before you calculate the angles remember you gotta calculate the magnitude of f of 3 with this formula and it comes out to be, sorry, ran out of space here, 249.5, so four. So final answer, final answer, final answer, and final answer. And for the first one, final answer, final answer, final answer, and final answer.